Good morning children. Today we are going to do math. In math, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, money, time, etc. In this class today we are going to see shapes. Now we shall see the first chapter. The first chapter today we are going to see is around you. We see different kinds of shapes, objects, figures around you. Now we shall observe the following picture and identify the given shapes here. A pentagon it looks like a front view of the house. A square looks like a carom board. A triangle looks like a road sign and a circle looks like a clock button. The national flag looks like a rectangle. Now we are going to see about a line segment and a curved segment. As you can see this is a straight line. It is called a line segment whereas this is curved. You call it a curved line segment. As you can see a circle is a curved line segment whereas a triangle, a square, a rectangle and a pentagon are called line segments. Now children can you see some figures and shapes given in page number 4? We will color them now. Square. Now children we are going to see squares formed by using line segments. Here in the above figure A, B, C, D are the corners. They are the corners here. A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A are the sides here. A, C and B, D are called the diagonals. If you see, you can see all the four sides are equal. That is A, B is equal to B, C is equal to C, D is equal to D, A. So, in a square we can find all the four sides and corners equal. Now children did you understand this? Using the same method we will try doing figure 2 and figure 3. You can also try doing this uh, square with the help of a match stick. Will you all do it and show it to us? Rectangle. Earlier we saw a square. Now we are going to see a rectangle which is formed by using a line segment. As you can see there is a lot of difference between a square and a rectangle. In a rectangle you have four corners and four sides like a square but the opposite sides are equal here. You can see the opposite sides are equal. These two are the opposite sides and these two are the opposite sides. You can find the opposite sides are equal. Now look at this figure. I have written H, I, J, K for the corners. H, I, J, K are the corners here. H, I, I, J, J, K, K, H are the sides. H, J and K, I are the diagonals here. So you can see the opposite sides are equal. H, I is equal to J, K and I, J is equal to K, H. You can see the opposite sides are equal. The four, it also has a four corner and four sides but the opposite sides are equal. For a square all the four sides are equal but for a rectangle only the opposite sides are equal. Now you take out pair figure number two and write Try doing figure number 2 as we did figure number 1. You can also try doing this with the help of a matchstick as we did for a square. Ok children? Triangle We earlier saw a square and a rectangle. Now the next what we are going to see is called a triangle. From the name tri you can see you have three lines here. So A, B, C are the corners here. A, B, B, C and C, A are the sides. So a triangle can be formed using three corners and three sides. You saw the three corners here and these are the three sides. 
So this is how you can form a triangle using a line segment. So you have figure 1 done for you, figure 2 and figure 3 you try doing it by yourself now. As we did using a math stick, we formed the line segments for, for a rectangle and a square. In the same way we try doing it for a triangle also. So we will use math sticks and try forming a triangle. Pentagon. Now what did we see earlier? We saw a square, a rectangle, a triangle. Now we are going to study about a pentagon formed by a line segment. As you can see the pentagon has five corners and five sides. One, two, three, four, five corners. The sides are one, two, three, four, Five. So here in this figure you can see A, B, C, D and E are the corners here and A, B, B, C, C, D and D are the sides. So pentagon how many corners do you have? You have five corners and how many sides you have? You have five sides. A pentagon is formed using five corners and five sides. Now it, figure 1 has already been done for you. You will try doing figure 2 and figure 3. Also with the help of a math stick as we earlier did for a square, you will do for a pentagon also. Try doing it and see it's lots of fun to do children. Now turn to page number 9 children, you will find like various dots in them. Now you will use your imagination and form, you will connect those dots and form shapes and then you will color them. You all like to color right? You all will color them, you all will form shapes. Use your imagination, form rectangles, form triangles, form pentagons and color them. And then after that you can use, you come below, you can see, draw a circle in the following boxes. You will use a coin with the help of a coin or a bangle and a bottle cap. You will draw different types of circles, different sizes of circles actually. We are going to do freehand drawing of a circle. What do you mean by freehand? Without using any object in the sense we are going to draw a circle by using a pencil and a piece of a string. So it's very simple. I'll just teach you how to do it and you'll just follow me. It's very simple. You don't have to worry children. Look here. Tie one end of the string with a pencil and another end with a pin. Press the pin in the paper and keep a finger on its top. Rotate the pencil till a circle is formed. Finding center and radius by paper folding. Next, we are going to find the center and radius by paper folding. You all like to fold papers, right? You fold papers, you throw them in the dustbin. So you are not going to throw them in the dustbin now. We are just going to fold papers and I will just teach you how to find the radius by using paper foldings. We will fold the papers and we will I'll teach you how to find the radius. Draw a circle in a paper. Cut the circle. Fold the circle into half. Then fold it again like this. Now open the foldings. The two creased lines crossed each other. The two creased lines meet at a point. O is the center of the circle. OA is equal to radius of the circle. BC is equal to diameter of the circle. The line segment joining any two points on the boundary of the circle which is passing through the center of the circle is called diameter. Now you know how to draw a circle on a paper and find the radius and diameter. Now turn to page number 12. 
you all have rulers right take out your ruler and with the help of the ruler measure the radius of the given circle there are two circles given if you notice now the radius of one has already been done for you the second picture you find a circle there you will try doing finding the radius of the second circle and come to exercise number two draw the radius for the following circles and with the help of a ruler measure them Now we are going to see something called compass. You all know what a compass is. Where do you find a compass? Inside your geometry box. Now here I have a compass with me. There are two arms here if you see. Two arms. This steel end is called the pivot arm. And this one is the movable arm. The movable arm has got a screw to it to fix a pencil. Next we are going to see something called tangrams. Have you ever heard of this word? Tangrams. It's formed by using geometrical shapes. It's a thousand year old Chinese puzzle. It consists of seven geometrical shapes which put together they form different kinds of shapes. By using the tans we can create different patterns, geometrical designs, human beings, birds and animals. It's very interesting thing. Don't get confused. Don't get confused with the word. It's, it's very simple. It just consists of seven geometrical shapes. With the help of these geometrical shapes, you will form different kinds of figures and shapes. That's all. Now, turn to page number 15. There are, you, you can see like there are one, two and three given. First exercise, second and third. The first, they, first, second and third, they have different tangram pieces. Now you will take those pieces, imagine them in your mind and you will form different figures out of it. You can form a house, you can form a man standing, you can form, form a man sleeping. So you will imagine them and with the help of those pieces given, you will find something out for me and show it to me. Tiling. Now we are going to see something called tiling. What does a tiling mean by? You go to your houses, you look at the floor, you, fi you find tiles being stuck at your floor. Yes or no? Yes. So these tiles, if you observe, they are not overlapped. And do you find any gaps in between them? No. So about a uh, tile is formed without any gaps or overlaps. Can you see some pictures in your book? We have a brick wall, a chessboard, a beehive, floor tiles. These pictures are formed by arranging different tiles without gaps and overlaps. Now we will fill in the blanks. A square and a rectangle have dash sides and dash corners. How many sides and how many corners? They have four sides and four corners. Dash has five sides and five corners. A pentagon. A pentagon has five sides and five corners. Dash sides of a rectangle are equal. Which sides of the rectangle are equal? Opposite sides. Opposite sides of the rectangle are equal. The line joining center point and any point on the boundary of the circle is called what? Is called a radius. The line segment joining any two points on the boundary of the circle which is passing through the center of the circle is called is called a diameter.